If you're like most people, you think that there's two types of human beings. There's creative human beings and there's not so creative human beings. And I felt the same thing until one morning I ended up living in a cardboard box under a bridge. Now this particular morning started out like most mornings for me. I woke up early, I had a flight to catch, I had a very important business meeting to get to that day. I left home, I was running a little bit late. When I pulled out on the interstate, I noticed miles and miles of red lights. They were all brake lights and there was this huge traffic jam. And all of a sudden I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be late for my flight. And if I'm late for the flight, I'm gonna be late for the meeting. And if I'm late for the meeting, I'm gonna miss this business. And if I don't get this business, I'm probably gonna get fired. And if I get fired, I'm probably gonna lose my house. And if I lose my house, I'm probably gonna lose my wife. And if I lose my wife, I'll never see my daughter again. And if I never see my daughter again, I'll probably lose my health. And if I lose my health, what's the point of life? I might as well stop at the next overpass and move into that cardboard box I saw last week. It was that day that I really understood that fear, that our fear is a demonstration of our innate creativity and that we are creative human beings. If you're a human being, you're creative. The question is, how do you use your creativity? Do you use it for anxiety? Do you use it for worry? Or do you use it to create something worthwhile? The question is, what are you using the crea creativity you already have for?